When a person has heart failure, the heart cannot adjust to increased demand for oxygen, such as during times of increased physical activity, like climbing stairs. There are two main types of heart failure. They are defined based on whether the ejection fraction, which indicates how well the left ventricle is able to pump, is reduced or preserved. In heart failure with reduced ejection fraction, also called systolic heart failure, the heart is too weak. When the heart pumps, it doesn't squeeze normally. In heart failure with preserved ejection fraction, also called diastolic heart failure, the heart is too stiff. When the heart pumps, it doesn't relax and refill with blood normally. What are the causes of heart failure? Heart failure is caused by a disease or condition that damages the heart. Fortunately, treating these conditions during the early stages can often prevent or slow the development of heart failure. The most common causes of heart failure include the following. High blood pressure. In people with hypertension, the heart must work harder to pump blood. Over time, this increased workload can reduce the heart's ability to relax and fill with blood. In people with coronary artery disease or CAD, the arteries that supply blood to the heart become clogged with fatty deposits or plaques, reducing the flow of blood. As a result, portions of the heart muscle are deprived of oxygen, especially during exercise when the body requires more oxygen and the heart cannot function as well. Coronary heart disease can also lead to a heart attack, also called myocardial infarction, if an artery becomes completely blocked. This causes permanent damage to the heart muscle. Coronary heart disease can lead to heart failure when it impairs the function of the heart. Cardiomyopathy is another cause of heart failure. This occurs when the heart muscle does not pump or relax normally, but the cause is not high blood pressure or coronary heart disease. Cardiomyopathy may be related to different medical conditions such as alcoholism, vitamin deficiencies including certain autoimmune disorders, a genetic mutation, or an infection such as viral, bacterial, or protozoal disease. However, often, the cause is unknown. Heart valve disease can also cause heart failure. A number of conditions can damage the heart valves which normally keep blood flowing through the heart at the right pressure and in the right direction. The valve can become narrowed or stenosed, which interferes with blood flow through the heart valve and increases pressure in the heart. In other cases, the valve can become leaky, causing blood to flow backwards. Sometimes both these things happen and the valve becomes narrowed and leaky. Thank you for listening. Please like, subscribe, and ring the bell for more health tips. Be healthier!